Hi, I'm Dr. Swainson. I'm going to show a video right now on how to properly do a right side dock with single side. And the technique first starts by lining up with the console, the camera arm here. You want it lined up perfect so that it's a straight line between the console and the camera. You also want to make sure that the arrow is right at the outer sweet spot. If you're coming in from the left side, you'll do the same thing. You'll bend this arm the other way and you'll have it on the outer sweet spot as well. But I'm showing a right side dock for single sight since I stand on the right side. This is another angle to show that lining up so that this camera arm is lined up straight with the console. You want to make sure it's lined up perfect with the console. But you also want to pull it out far enough where it's in the sweet spot as you see in this video here. So it's lined up perfect with the console. It's in the sweet spot right at the edge where you want it to be. So Dr. Martin is simulating the patient's left shoulder with where the gel port is on the patient. This way, as Rose here um, drives this in, she can actually align the camera arm with Dr. Martin's arm. So she's gonna back up and come in at the right angle. She can see around the console and see where he is and that helps her drive this in at the right angle. As you see, Dr. Martin just holds it's the straight helper. Straight in now, straight in. Right. So this would be step number two. A little, little to your right. Good, now straight. Perfect. Turn a little to the left. Yeah. So we're going to imagine this gel port sitting right here like this. Stop. This is now step number three. We're now going to move this arm so that it's straight between the legs, but we still want to keep it right on the perfect sweet spot edge right there, as you see. Dr. Martin is going to Frankenstein that arm up there and bring it so it's straight. He's going to bend that elbow all the way until it touches the other one. As you see that, it's Frankenstein, that whole arm. Here's another view of that. Straight arm. Now we need to bring this in more so that this is over the gel port. Come on in. Notice I'm not moving this instrument. Good. So now we know it's right smack over the gel port, which is going to be right here. To review the first three steps, the first step was to line this up with the console in the sweet spot. Number two was Dr. Martin um, lining up uh, the the patient's left shoulder with the gel port. Number three was Rose um, moving in further with me bending this straight between the legs. Number four was Frankenstein that arm as we did. And number five, Dr. Martin has put in this gel port and he's gonna attach it. Dr. Martin is then going to take the camera port and just tweak it a little bit out. This is the problem. Right here we've developed what's called external collisions when we move. I'm going to show you a little my, my side here real quick. So I'm going to dock my arm. Let's put this as if we're looking at the pelvis. Camera's down looking in the pelvis. <clears throat> this is where all the trouble happens. If this arm is not Frankenstein and we do not tweak this camera a little to the other side, there'll be collisions. Dr. Martin will hold this. I'm going to show you how you can move now. Clear over to this side. Move the camera over here. And see how we can move clear over before we have our first collision. We show that collision. There's the collision right there. So as long as you dock this correctly, you're going to avoid that. Now on the right side, we don't ever have a collision problem because it's coming from the right side. So you can look very, very far over on this side without any collision. It's all about the left side of the opposite of where you dock, where the collisions occur. And as you can see, there's no collision on this case because we have done this several step process to avoid that.
And you see we're still at the end of the sweet spot as well. Angle here. So this is coming in. Uh, as you see here, the Frankenstein has occurred right here on this arm. It can even be slightly Frankenstein more if you would need to. You want that, that, that space there to be almost nothing there. You want this collapsed in as much as possible. Thus the term Frankenstein because the arms are out going uh, Thanks for watching our video about how to dock from the side. We appreciate docking from the side because the assist sits between the legs and it's too hard for an assist to manipulate the uterus without sitting down and being between the legs. It wears our arms and shoulders out. Anything you would add to that? No, the only thing I would tell you is that little subtle move of moving the camera arm is a big thing to increasing your mobility when you're at the console.